Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Chanel and today I just want to share with you how I use my future log in my um, weekly slim planner for 2022. In my previous video, I said that I am not using the future log set up in this notebook or in this planner because it's so tiny but then i realized that um i think I'm, i am going to use this as a rapid log so i just have to write the important things that i want to remind myself in the future and then um what i did here was i just um write the days next to the date so I know exactly what day it is and so today I decided to um, mark the holidays the Thai holidays that we have because um, usually we forget the holidays and um, it was easier now because it's online and <laughs> we just ask the students if it's a holiday or not or sometimes they remind us if it's a holiday but in the previous years usually <laughs> we will find out that it's a holiday when we get to the school <laughs> and then we just wonder why there's nobody there and so quiet <laughs> the people there the guards will just tell us that it's a holiday and it was okay it doesn't matter really because uh, it's no big deal because um, we love going to school but I think uh, to save us some time and also uh, to just remind us that it's a special day a special holiday I'm just gonna mark the dates that we have so I am going online to check the holidays so we have Monday which is 3rd of January is a holiday and then we have 16 February Time flies by so fast. So I'm just gonna continue writing the days here. So Monday, and then um, I will also mark birthdays uh, for next year so I have yeah and then um, so this is what we did the last time and this is my first week for January and what I'm going to do here is I will just put a washi tape here so I'm just gonna erase um, the dates here I'm not so sure if I want to put a washi here anymore but so I got this um, Polaroid photo sticker that I want to use so um, I'm still setting up my weekly slim because the mood is still on it <laughs> So I'm gonna work on my other journals later. 
it looks nice and then um, I will use my stencil again here okay so this is my favorite shade at the moment so I love to use it I hope you guys are well today just shade it like this yeah if, if you don't know how to um, do lettering or calligraphy full calligraphy um, you can invest on a stencil um, I don't have that much stencils I I don't even use all the stencils that I have only my favorites well you can always use stickers or print um, text but I think for me that requires a lot of effort I think for me it's easier um, compared to printing Um, whatever floats your boat actually just go with it and then this is week one so we're gonna use another shade I have this pens for a long time and I haven't been using them so I am going to use them today okay, as you can see here I'm very dependent on my oops i don't like okay never mind um very dependent on my stencils but it's very useful so i have the month and it's week one it's the days so january January starts Saturday so week one starts Saturday and Sunday so Saturday Sunday <laughs> so um, just gonna write uh, two days here which is Saturday and Sunday And then um, maybe I'll just use the same font here. Um, okay, so I'll be consistent, though I don't really like um, the shade color. I'm just gonna be consistent with it. So um, Saturday is January 1 um, so I'm gonna write in here my um, meal menu I think so I have meal ideas and I have menu so that will be um, kind of like the specific menu that I'm going to prepare for that week so that means I have my weekly specific menu so I don't have to waste time thinking about it <laughs> every day so I think what I'm gonna be using this for is just a summary for the week so what I'm going to do here is this is my weekly planner of our task I have for the week everything goes in here and then by monthly every second week of the month I haven't done weeklies before except in my traveler's notebook which is not very consistent so I'll see if how this one will work because it's my first time using a weekly base here I might want to add some stickers here so a 
so anyways this is just a very quick update on my um, weeklies so um, this is how it looks like the setting looks like for now <laughs> it turns out that this one is very useful so if you're using a weekly slim planner notebook you can also um, write um, your appointments in advance here which I will do later uh, maybe start now I have my um, first appointment in January it's a holiday so gonna that's my first appointment for the year <laughs> Um, yeah, you so see you can write in codes because um, it's very small the space is very small so uh, just uh, make sure that you remember what the code is for so yeah so this is my quick updates on my weekly setup for 2022 I still have to write the dates in here and then um, are my monthlies I'm happy how it turned out or if you want if you're like me and you're big on stickers and washies then go ahead um, enjoy <laughs> so yeah so that's my um, update on my weekly it's like I said this is my first time to use a weekly planner and I'll see how it goes so yeah so that's my update for now i'm not so sure if i want to cover this one because this is very cheap and the cover that i found online for um hobonichi cover <laughs> the cover on cover is even more expensive than my notebook so i don't know if i can rationalize that we'll see if i can find a cover maybe i'll just do do it myself so I guess you just have to stay tuned for it. So yeah, so thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!